Phyllis Lewis, P-H-Y-L-L-I-S, L-E-W-I-S, Phyllis Lewis. Tell me what you do. Where do you work and what do you do? I work at KFC. I've been at KFC for 11 years. Can I ask how much you make an hour? I make eight sixty-five an hour. Did you go on strike this morning? If so, tell tell our listeners why you did that and uh, what happened this morning. We went on a strike over in Tampa at McDonald's, and we are striking for fifteen dollars an hour and for minimum wage to go up. It's sixty-four million people all around the United States went on strike today for fifteen dollars an hour and the union because we've been underpaid for years. I'm 60 years old and I'm out here fighting for the next generation. My grandchildren and the, the next generation and my son and them, the ones that are coming up, so they won't have to go through poverty like we did. Like I did. And my, my family. So what's it like to live on less than $9 an hour? How do you make ends meet? Oh, how I make ends meet? Like, um, like this month, Lee Davis Clinic paid my light bill for me. They vouched for that and paid my light bill. And if I don't have no extra money, if it wasn't for Lee Davis, my life might have been turned off. And my son, he helps me. Yes. And it's just so hard making eight dollars and something all your life. You know, every year minimum wage like they offer us what? Five cents all the way across the board. They can keep that. We don't we not we not we deserve more than five cents all around the United States. They want to give us five cent, ten cent, the cost of living raise. They can keep it. That not even that's a shame. I wouldn't even want to offer nobody nothing like that. What would it be like then to have a raise to fifteen dollars an hour? Oh, to make fifteen dollars an hour. Let me tell you something. My insurance that could help pay my insurance. That could help, you know. Like, we get food stamps. Well, I won't even qualify for food stamps. The money they taking paying me food stamps, paying my hospital bills, my doctor bills, $15 an hour put me up where I don't have to ask and beg nobody for help. So it might help taxpayers. They would yeah. have less food stamps to pay. Yeah, less food stamps to pay, less medical, all that they up, you know. And plus, you have a lot of people off the streets want to work. You know, they work. They, a lot of people say, we feel like we don't want to work you know, for making eight dollars and something an hour, you know, and then that way a lot of people work two jobs, you know, to make ends meet. And then they have more time to spend with their families. Uh, you were you scheduled to work today? Yes I was. Did you go in? No. Do you think anything's gonna happen to you? No. Because we got lawyers to, to back us up and we got the right to strike. Yes. Are you gonna go back to work tomorrow? Yes. And finally, are you involved at all? Do you know anything about what the action is this afternoon in Ybor City? Yes. We're getting ready to go over to McDonald's, the McDonald's where Gail works at. And uh, we're going to strike there and we're going we're gonna to block the streets off, you know, for our right. You know, yes, that's what we're getting ready to do. Is, I'll ask Gail as well, but is that the McDonald's in Ebor City? It, 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 McDonald's in Ebor City, because she been had she had a lot of problems in the, to that McDonald's, so we're gonna go over there and strike. Thanks for your time. Okay.